Mr. Lee. Sure. I want uh, some other questions, but on your announcement about mm -hmm. the Central African Republic and this panel, one I just wanted to know, Mr. Jallo, is he still the, he's the prosecutor of the International Criminal Tribunal in mm -hmm. Rwanda. Is that still a current job? So, one, is the panel a full-time work? And two, is it really consistent with being independent, given that he's uh, working for the UN system? Well, I think, a, yes, it is completely independent. I think the, the, the judges and the, the prosecutors of the ICTR, as you know, are, uh, are elected uh, by member states. Uh, the ICTR is, is winding down. Uh, it will be a full time, uh, it will be full time for, uh, for at least the 10 weeks. Uh, and I think Mr. Jallo is a jurist of impeccable uh, reputation. Uh, the, uh, the prosecutor's office uh, were completely independently from the, uh, from the, from the secretariat, uh, and the panel will be completely, in its work, will be completely independent. I also wanted to, I guess, I mean, relatedly, you, you, I'm, I would assume that you've seen this um, statement written by uh, the head of the Government Accountability Project, B. Edwards, where she says that a UN spokesman uh, said in an email regarding Mr. Compass that he's a sleazebag without principles. And she's a person that has, you know, studied the UN pretty closely. I, I doubt she's making the email up. So I wanted to know, what do you think of it? Both who said it, and also what do you think of, of if it's the case that the UN is saying publicly all these very judicious things and continues behind the scenes. Uh, listen, I have no, uh, I have no way of knowing who sent that email. If the email is even real, I, you know, I, I, I don't doubt Miss uh, Edwards' uh, intentions. I know her uh, to be uh, uh, to be a woman who strongly believes in uh, in what she's uh, what what she's fighting for. You know, obviously, everyone uh, working for the Secretariat needs to be treated with respect. We need to treat our colleagues uh, with respect. I'm not going to start commenting okay. on, on private emails, which may or may not be and, real. And finally on this, did the, D did the Deputy Secretary General meet with member states on Friday regarding the, the, the uh, panel and the... Race? Yes, he did. And so why, why, I guess I've seen meetings like this on public schedules, like when you're meeting about post... 2015 or whatever. Why was this one not? Uh, I don't again, know why like it wasn't. One, what, I don't know why it wasn't. Uh, why it wasn't on? The Deputy Secretary General briefed the uh, interested member states of where we were in the process. Uh, basically, gave him a bit of a preview of uh, of the the panel uh, without giving them names uh, and just updating them on wh on where we were. Okay, I'll I'll come back to you.